Folks filing into Fenway Park here in Boston on a fine Thursday evening for baseball. The homestand continues with the second of two between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Boston Red Sox. The Bo Sox have played excellent baseball of late. They'll try to bring their win streak to a baker's dozen next. So coming to the plate, Kevin Pillar. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And we are underway from Fenway as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down one, two. Three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing them through. Now a moment as we That's take a look at the Jays starting nine eight. for this one. Dan, who do yeah, we keep an eye on? Well, you know, Matt, they need to get better production for their number three hitter. He's hitting under 250 for the season. You think about it, that's basically one for four every game with some offers mixed in there. It tells you about the inconsistency he's had so far in the batter's box. And he takes strike three called, and it's a pair of punch outs that begin the ball game. Batting third, the first baseman. Fouled off. Justin Smoke. Two out, nobody on. Line to the right side. That gets down, and the inning will continue. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. That is four. The right corner. Marcelo says, here's the first pitch. Randall. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Richard. A 27-year-old, he was selected in the first round oh, back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Aaron Sanchez is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Toronto. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, when you look up the word dependability in the dictionary, that's what this guy, you'll find a picture of this guy. Four Career ERA top. just under right 3.5, and Mookie. that's saying quite a lot in the high-scoring yeah. game. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove that it into second. the outfield for a base the second baseman. Here. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Runner, runner, runner. First offering on its way. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. And now the runner's trying for third. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead. But he made it work out. That was really impressive. Line toward the gap in left center. The catch is made deep in the alley. And here comes the runner from third. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Here's Jackie Bradley now. Head to head history with Aaron Sanchez. He brings with him a 313 batting average. He also has one home run. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. I can tell you one thing. You might get away with throwing a ball in that location in the minor leagues, but when you get one up like that in the zone that right over the plate against these guys, that's, that's you're hitter. going to get exactly Maybe. what he got. A really Mark bad Vigas. result. Fly ball out toward left center field. Waiting on it is Hernandez, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. 
With that, here's how the hometown Red Sox line up in this one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, one thing's for sure. They love what Mookie Betts brings to their offense. He stole over 30 bases last year. You don't forget about this guy when he's on the base pass. He's a threat to go at any time. 30 stolen bases. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat as it'll be five six and seven due up to kick off the second inning into his windup here comes the 1 0 and he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop Porcello a native of New Jersey the Garden State as it's known he's an 11 year vet at the major league level so he certainly put together a nice career in professional baseball yeah Matty you ain't kidding right there 10 years we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension so here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively and guys let's take a look the at Raphael field. Devers hey, got rushed to the big Burnett league super dead. quick because the guy could flat rake defense has lagged a little bit behind had some throwing issues early but working on his craft and continuing to get better every year that's why this guy is great never misses over the heart of the plate has got electric stuff but pinpoint control to all four quadrants and he fires a fastball now for a called strike two one out nobody on and they're working the outer half here but that one's wide for ball three. Brendan Drury will be next. There's ball four. So a runner at first with one out now. And into bat next, it'll be Brendan Drury. Ball one to start the at bat. And even one and one count to Brendan Drury. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Well, this is speared by the first baseman, but they'll just get the one out here as the runner will get back safely at first. The and he gets ahead 0 and 1 in his career against Porcello. He's hitless in six tries. Galvis behind 0 and 2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. So they pick. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Pilar is right there, one down. All right, guys, time for a look at how the Toronto the Blue Jays set up on defense today. And let's take a look Denver. at infielder Freddie Galvis, a guy who bounced around in the early part of his career, but his glove is his calling card, and he's settled at one of those premium positions up the middle, and look for him to have a big day on defense. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Runner breaks for third. Strike taken the throw. And he won't get the throw off actually as he can't find the handle and it's a successful steal of third base. The 0 1 pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Digging in, Sandy Leon. He'll try and start things over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground ball. Here's the first pitch to him. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Well, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, guys, anytime you start a road trip, first five games you start one and four, you're just trying to salvage. Do the fundamental things right. Try and sneak out a couple wins, get on the plane, and get out of here. Steps in, in. Mookie Betts. The right Second at bat here. Oh, he reached via a single to lead off the home first. Hey, second time around, let's see if this guy goes up and oh, looks for the fastball. He got a fastball on his first at bat and didn't miss it. First pitch on its way. A pitch out. The throw. And even a pitch out can't do the trick. He's in there at second.
Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. Hernandez is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Red Sox settle for just the one. First pitch of the at bat. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Chased out of his zone there, and he's down two strikes. McGuire, just 24 years of age, he's a second year big leaguer. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. The center fielder, number 11, Kevin Pilar. Bases are empty, one man out. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. This will be handled by Pedroia at second. Throw on to first, and Porcello's looking good here. Two away. In now, Devin Travis. Devin. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Well, the left fielder's on it, and that retires the side. Blue Jays go down in order. Still down 3 nothing. Leading off for the Red Sox. Ready with the, the first pitch. Baseman. Here it comes. Just oh, and oh, that oh, liner God. caught him. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. now so the base is empty Jackie. here with one away. Bradley. And in the hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball on. He didn't hit. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. And he is in there at third with a one-out triple. Yeah, and most guys that hit now for the cycle can the get a single hitter. or a double but struggle Jeez. with the rest. Not this guy. He's already He's got out. the homer and the triple, so the hardest parts are out of the way. We'll see what the rest of the game holds in store. Here's J.D. Martinez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Bradley takes his lead at third with one away. Hit down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. A bouncer to the left side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And that'll bring home another as they open it up to a 4-0 advantage now. Well, if anybody was wondering why they're losing, there's the reason. When you're given a chance to make a big play, you've got to make it. Or you're going to be on the wrong in the games more often than not. He's set and the pitch. Pitch misses low. The throw down he is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. He's going, the going. Runner goes for third. Pitch is high. The throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. A man at third with one away. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. A dive, but it's off his glove. Throw into second, but he'll get in there with an RBI double. That is what every manager is looking for out of the left middle field. of his lineup. When Andrew. you get your three, four, and five Andrew. hitters Andrew. producing this early Your in the season, please. it can be contagious, now, and forward. everyone in the lineup starts to contribute. Thomas Pannone is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third oh, inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Pitch misses low. The throw down is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. The 1-0 home. Back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And add one more as this is now a 6-0 ball game. You know who's the happiest man in the building the right now? His the starting pitcher. Man. He's got a big old oh, smile yeah. on his face. He knows Never. he has a 6-1 lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though. He's First going, offering on its way. Ben Intendi's on the move. Pitch inside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down.
the 1 0. Runners on his way to third. That's a strike to throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Hit hard on the ground to second. There is Travis. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now that battle. grounder was hard the hit, and sometimes the runner at third Jeez. will have to hold on a ball like that, but Here. he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. Here's Steve Pierce now. As he'll take a breaking ball in off the plate for ball one. Pierce is just shy of six feet at 5'11", a right-handed batter and thrower. He was an eighth-round selection back in 2000. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And it bangs off the monster. And the throw in gets away from him. Now batting, catcher. So stepping Sandy. in, Sandy Leon. A base hit in his first trip. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. Runner! I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield, but he's going to wave them. He's not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Now the 1 0. -oh. Takes this the other way to right. Richard is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Three innings complete. It's the Red Sox seven, the Jays nothing. Justin Smoke is at the plate as he looks at ball one. But Pedroia there to pull it in and that's the first out. The right fielder, number 15, Randall Grichik. Here's Randall Grichik. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes Here's in his first at-bat. And they go right after him here as he swings and misses. Strike two. The next 0 2. Sent out to straightaway center field. Bradley is there. Two down. Next to bat now for that's... Toronto, Rowdy Tellez. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Porcello's ready. 0-2 on its way. This is in the air to center. Does he have another 1-2-3 for the ledger? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is... Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked with manager Alex Cora during the break about his thoughts on the Red Sox hitters to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they're doing an excellent job with pitch selection, meaning they're swinging at the right pitches and doing damage Leading with on. them. Well, the no, numbers Red back Sox. that up. Five extra right base field. hits on the stat sheet, guys. Okay. Thank you, Heidi. Grounded to short. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The batter number 15. Stepping into the box, Dustin Pedroia. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Hit hard to short. Throw on to first to take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Now batting, center fielder. Digging in and Jackie. looking for more, Jackie Bradley, Bradley Jr. He's got a homer Jr. and a triple to this point in the game. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And this is going to find the gap and roll toward the bullpen for extra bases. The relay. 
But he is in there with a triple. Wow, he's getting oh, his daily conditioning in during the, the game. That's his second Get triple, me. so obviously he's seeing the ball great. Oh, and he's showing he knows how to motor around the bases just fine. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. And the run is in to score from third. And he's safe. The pitcher had recovered from the Stop sting of giving up a triple, and then he gets Stop. belted for a double. Denver. The lead grows, and the guy on the mound is probably wondering if his day is going to be ending soon. As a look, now the pitch. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Martinez at third with two away. Hit on the ground out to short. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. So he got him swinging. To Oscar Hernandez becomes the first out of the inning. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hits the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket of sassy. Fastball just inside. Again, a 1-2. And he fouls this one off. The 1-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to now watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Count now a ball and a strike. Honey pops it up. Bogarts is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So a strong start on the mound. Stepping up now, Andrew Benintendi. He singled and two trips to the plate thus far. The left fielder. First Andrew. pitch on its way. Benintendi. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And it's gone as they add still another. Yeah, everyone in the stadium, including the guy in the mound, knew it was just a matter of time until this guy cranked one out of here. Well, that's the, the first one of the year, the and baseman. many more are sure to follow. Yeah. Rafael Devers, Devers the next to bat. Here's another one that's drilled. This one to left. And it's off the green monster. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Well, that's his second double of the game, and I thought it might now have bad. enough to get out of here. The they baseman. get off the wall, and he's Deep. looking really good in this one. Deep. Ready once again, Steve Pierce. One for two with a double on his line thus far. From the stretch. And now the runner's trying for third. In there. Now the throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout.
hit hard down the line. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. Throw to first, not in time as the run was across the score. Now that Digging in, Sandy Leon. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Here's the 1 Strike taken. The throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Pierce, the runner at third with no outs. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. And that becomes the first out of the inning. Now batting. Back the right to the field. top of the order now. Mookie. And up next, one of the terrific Bad. talents in the game, Mookie Betts. First offering on its way. There's a line drive, base hit to left field. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. I'll tell you, they're posting video game now numbers here. I mean, the that's their man. 11th run of the game, and they're showing no oh. signs of slowing oh, wow. down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. Go, Runners on the go. move for second. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. Oh, and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Three runs already home here. He's going, and the runner is breaking going. for third. That's a strike to throw down. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. Two quick strikes and now the 0-2. Dive, but it's in and out of the glove and the run should score. And he'll get in there safely. Hey, sometimes you just got to tip your cap right there. You execute a nice pitch down in the zone. Think you're going to get a ground ball or a swing and a miss, and you find yourself with a man on first. Got to regroup. He's set. Here it comes. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And they won't get him. It's a stolen base for Pedroia. Bradley waits on the 1 0. In there. Now the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Bradley waits on the 1-1. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Travis takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Now battle. The plate now is the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. First pitch of the at bat. Hard hit at third. A diving effort here as he gets the glove on it. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. The batter, number two. Coming to the plate now, Xander Bogers. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitch outside. The throw. Way late. And he's in there easily at second. One and oh delivery. Runner goes for third. Pitch outside. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. The 2-0. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and So far on the year, Bogarts is carrying around an absurd batting line, coming in in excess of 500. Yeah, this is a great spot for him right now. He just seems to have been picking up left-handed pitching great all season long. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And he will crash into the wall, but hold on to it there for the final out of the inning. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. 
stepping in for the Jays. Reese McGuire will start things out in their half of the sixth the as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Devers is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Kevin Pillar. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. 0 and 1 the count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. No runs, just one hit, one error thus far for Toronto. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. This is the kind of a bat where your hitting coach grabs you on the way back to the dugout to have a little chat about your approach. Not a lot of positives to draw from that at bat when you take two strikes and then you chase one out of the zone to go down on only three pitches. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Still looking up at a 13 nothing. So striding forward now, Leading Andrew off. Benintendi. Oh, no, He's two stop. for three and looking for no more here. And that last Andrew. at that when he went deep, he turned that around is. a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Galvis backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now batting third baseman Rafael. Stepping into the box Devers. Rafael Devers. He hit a two bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah it's been an offensive explosion for him today. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everyone seems to be putting barrel on baseball in this lineup. Yeah, that hard hit single right there. That's clean. The first Three for four. First He's looking ball. locked in. He. He. In now, he Steve runner. Pierce. There goes the runner. Strike called. Now the throw down. Oh, He's yeah. well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Devers leads off second with one gun in the inning. Runners on his way to third. Strike taken. The throw. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Oh, and two. Here it is. Drilled down the line. And he goes to a knee to try to knock it down, but it's by him down the line. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now about it. Hector. Now at the plate, Sandy Leon Leo. hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Throw won't get him. Drilled on the ground to short. Galvis has it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. With the red Stepping in, the right Mookie field. Betts. He singled Funky. his last time up. First right. pitch of the at bat. Loud contact by Mookie and a ball carrying well to left field. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Wow, when you're swinging the bat like he is, 15. you want the game to go Second to extra base, so you can get some more ABs. Yes, That's his third hit of the game, and oh, his yeah. swing just keeps getting better and better. Almost hit that one yeah. out of here, but he'll take a double anytime. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not nearly in time as he takes third easily. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Hey, that's a huge pitch for him right there. He's been struggling early. If he's able to get any feel on his secondary stuff, he might be able to hang around a little bit. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And nearly out of here. It's off the very top of the monster. 
And he is in at third base with an RBI triple. So close, yet so far away. Two outs, but back-to-back -back back hits. This one a triple, and three runs have now been chased home. We'll see if the defense can make a play and get them out of this nightmare. Oh, lays off 1-0. You can tell he's starting to get frustrated out there. He's not usually used to getting knocked around the yard a little bit. And you can tell he's starting to feel for it. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Richard racing back. Gone! When this one left the bat, I thought it was going to be an easy out to right. But it just Your kept carrying and carrying. And the right now, fielder gave it a great effort and almost brought it back. But no dice. But into the box no now, J.D. Martinez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Two hits in four attempts to this point. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Pilar is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in scoring five. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Fouled away. Behind 0-2 now. Struck him out. And he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. First offering on its way. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Looks like he's got a good feel for that two-seam fastball this far into the game. He's used it really effectively tonight. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated now, hitter, Number Rowdy Tellers. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Hits this one hard the other way. Bogarts has it. On to Pierce at first, and the inning is over. So Here's Xander Bogarts now. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. Shortstop. He's ready. Bender. Here's the first offering. Hit hard on the ground at third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, the base hit. The now to the plate, the Andrew field. Benintendi. He Andrew. went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Here comes the first pitch. Pitch is a called strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Keep going, and now the runner's trying for third. Pitch inside. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Bogarts at third with nobody out. Cold strike in a dangerous location there. One and two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. The one, two. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. At the plate, Rafael Devers. Three for four so far, and seeing it well in this ball game. Hard hit ball to short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Uh, but they will still get the lead runner at second, so no double play. But, boy, very fortunate to record the first out there. Now with the plate, Steve Pierce. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Runners off for second. That's a strike to throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. The 0 1. Runner breaks for third. Pitch outside. The throw is well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. Hit high and deep to left field. Hernandez ranging back. It bangs off the billboard and it's out of here. Yep, this is why you just can't rely on one pitch. These are the best 
hitters in the world. Three. And when they know what's coming, they're going to jump all Play. over it, oh. just like he did there. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Man, I thought for sure we were going to see back-to-back -back jacks the right there. Well, when you serve the up right pitches field. like that, Matty, okay. you know these hitters are going to put some good swings on them. And that's what happens here as he blasts this thing. The last two hitters have really set the stage. Yeah, so now we'll see if there's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Two runs on the board after the home run by Mookie Betts. Number 11 for him on the season as this lead got Ladies even gentlemen. wider. You're David Phelps enters now in a mouth up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Into the box, Easy. Dustin Pedroia as he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center, and that's going to get down for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one out double. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving no, one into the path hitter. like that. He Jack hustled me. out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't picked it back in right away. Yeah, there really was. Meanwhile here, the throw to third is not in time, and he's in there safely. This is pulled into right. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. The batter, the dedicated hitter. Now the Red Sox D.H., J.D. Martinez. Oh, he's, he's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, back when I first broke into the big leagues, a lot of the pitchers wanted to work east to west. Now with such an uptick in velocity, these guys are working north-south. That's just a great elevated fastball with serious velocity on it. Every game the pitcher gets the lineup no card, he circles two. the guy that can't Just beat him. Well, obviously, he didn't circle this guy. That's his third knock of the game, and he has been on fire lately. Standing in now, Xander Bogarts. Pitch inside the throw, and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Here's the 1 0. Runner goes for third. And the throws offline a bit as it gets by him at third. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. And those are plays that cost you ball games. You're already losing, and then you make an error like that to compound things. That's how things snowball on you, and you start to feel like you can't do anything right. The 2 0 on the way. Hit the other way out toward right field. Richard is there to make the catch and mercifully the side is finally retired but a big inning here is seven runs cross the plate so that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez he leads off there half of the eighth and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point yeah he settled in early on the mound partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off he's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one one ball one strike the count. And it's fouled away. The one two. Skied into straightaway right. Betts has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The third baseman, number three, Brandon Rule. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brandon Drury, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch coming, here it is. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. Still one and two. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. 
So digging in now, yeah, Freddie Galvis. The short third trip to the plate Freddie for him here tonight. 0 for yeah. 2 at this point. No balls and a strike to count. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. So far, this has been a terrific. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Blue Jays go down in order, and they remain well, well behind. Ready now, Andrew Benintendi. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ball game. Andrew. Swing and a little blooper to center. In there, a base hit. He'll get it into second, but he'll be in there with a double. This is the type of production they were expecting from this guy when he came to the majors a couple of years back. He looks really at ease at the plate, and that relaxed swing is getting some really good results. Good example on that double there. Always great to see a young player blossom. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. The 1-0. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making it. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another, a big hit, which leads to another, some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Fielded by Galvis. There's one. On to first, and they get the double play. But boy, was he ever upended at second base. Danny three. Barnes comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results Ray than the Hall. other arms that they've run out there three. in this one. Now pitching for Toronto. First pitch of the at bat. Danny. A bouncer Ray. up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. Kept his shoulders square, his hands inside the oh, baseball, and was able to fight off a good, good. nice executed good. pitch for a knock. Here's Mookie Betts. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Here comes the 0-1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. two pitch and he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left and he will get there to make the running play and that will end the inning Red Sox settle for just the one ninth inning digging in to try it again Reese McGuire starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Here's the 1 1. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. So the lineup flips over and digging in Kevin Pillar. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Fastball misses inside. It's even at 1. And with 1 out in the ninth, he's just now coming up on his 100th pitch of the ball game. 
Yeah, Maddie, he's going to finish this one on adrenaline if he's allowed to. We'll see how the manager plays this one. I know guys like Dan Fleesack were locked and loaded in this position. Oh, this, this is right now a dream if you're out in that bullpen right now. Your starting pitcher gets you into the ninth inning. The guys that if they do get up in the ninth inning, these are the best relievers, and they're just lurking out there. What yeah, a that, terrific job up at this good. point. Ready for another Devin. chance? Devin Travis. Travis. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, thank you. And he'll put this one away, and the Red Sox will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Hey, not many pitchers can brag about throwing a one-hit complete game, so hats off for him. But as a pitcher...